for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Madden Money Shot. Sniff with the Madden Cheese as always. It's ratings week for Madden 23. That's right. Every single day this week, uh, EA is going to be releasing the ratings for a completely different group. Today is going to be wide receivers. I'm going to give you guys the top 10, maybe the top 20 wide receivers and tight ends. Give you guys my thoughts on them. And I'm also going to find the rookie ratings for all the first round rookies, maybe even the second round rookies. I'm not really sure. But I will give you guys the ratings for the top rookies in Madden 23 because I'm sure everybody wants to know them. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you don't agree with the ratings, make sure to let me know in the comment section as well. If you think that somebody uh, was rated too high or too low, I'm definitely going to give you my thoughts on the ratings. Other than that, let's go and skip right into the video. Now, we're just going to go top to bottom here. Number one. 99 overall Devontae Adams he was a 99 overall last year it shouldn't change much based off the fact that he changed teams so I kind of agree with that number two we have a tie I mean one's a tight end but ultimately uh, Cooper Cup is a 98 he didn't quite get that 99 status not a hundred percent surprise on that he might get it you know throughout the season if he has a big year but not a huge surprise there that he did not quite make 99 99 you typically have to be a uh, top level guy for a couple years in a row and he really hasn't done that yet he had one really great year other than i think he's only had 1000 yard season in his career now travis kelsey not being a 99 is a little bit surprising his his numbers are consistent he's good every single year to me he should probably be a 99 overall still i don't know what really caused him to go down i really don't have his stats in front of me but to me he's a consistent 99 overall player there's not a lot of players in the league that produce as consistently as him it's just one point though not a huge deal after that we got george kittle uh who has also come in at 97 um i didn't think he had too great of a year last year uh, i know the year before that he was injured so it's it's not i don't to me he's a great player to me he might be the best tight end in the game based on the fact that he's such a good blocker he's such a hard player to tackle i love george kittle so i'm happy with that rating tyree Hill coming in after that at a 97 seems a little bit high to me that means he's the third best receiver in the league I don't necessarily agree with that uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of receivers that might be better I mean, he's the fastest guy in the game so that might have something to do with it but guys like DeAndre Hopkins right behind him I still think he's probably a better receiver Stefan Diggs is probably I don't know if he's put up better numbers it's really hard to argue that because you know Tyreek Hill is such a great player but it just seems a little weird I don't know I've never really thought of him as the third best receiver in the league but he is the third best receiver in the game. I do think it's a little bit high. Justin Jefferson continues to perform. Here's something I have a slight issue with. He continues to perform at the highest level. He's, he, I think he was first in the league last year in receiving yards. He's still not getting enough love from Madden ratings, in my opinion. He's still only a 93 overall. They're still very hesitant to move him up the board how he deserves. Uh, so to me, I mean, to me, he's got to be, he's a top three receiver, I would say, in the league, based off of the two years that he had. He's only played two years, but he's been extremely productive. I think he has the most yards of any receiver in NFL history in his first two seasons, and it's still not enough to crack him into what is essentially what like the top five. I guess Stephon Diggs would be number five. So that's something I have a little bit of an issue with. Uh, Mike Evans is I don't know. I think he's usually like a 90 overall. This looks like a slight boost for him, a 92. Uh, good for him. You know, it's just like he's a guy that typically just gets the same rating every year. So I don't know what really caused him to get a boost. Uh, the fact that he's been so consistent his entire career. And then Mark Andrews, I really kind of jumped over who. Who is the third highest rated tight end that's a little bit surprising I, I mean I'm not gonna say he's not the third best tight end in the league but it still feels like Darren Waller probably should have been the third best tight end and I know Mark Andrews hasn't had I know he had a great year last year but that was definitely a spike in his production and it looks like he got a huge spike in his rating too so you know definitely a great player I'm not trying to put any players down I'm just saying that to me the rating uh, order is a little bit off. We go home, we go to the next page, and there we have Darren Waller. The 90 speed is all that really matters. I really don't care what his overall is. He's still one of the fastest Titans in the game, so he's going to be a great player. Terry McLaurin coming in at 91. I don't want to skip over Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen is a lot like uh, Mike Evans, who just gets the same rating every year because he's so consistent, but he's not really, he doesn't really do anything uh, to raise it or to lower it. He's a very consistent player. But Terry McLaurin, I don't really remember him being ranked, rated so high at a 91. Uh, good for him, though, because I mean, he's definitely a explosive player. I gotta love players with speed like that. 94 speed. Amari Cooper, uh, I think he was around a 90 last year. Michael Thomas, hanging in at around a 90, even though he hasn't really done a ton, mostly because of injuries. Uh, most of these ratings look pretty much the same. 
We're going to go out, we're going to finish it with this page. This is going to be the last page I do. DK Metcalf coming in at 89. I guess the one that really bothers me out of all these is Debo Samuel, who was such an important player for the Niners last year. He really carried that team, especially the entire offense. And for him to come and not even rate at a 90, to me, is disrespectful. This guy is a superstar player. I would have him. I know he's young as well. He's in, within the first couple years of his career as well. But to me, he's a guy that, based off of how he played last year, should be like a 95. He should definitely be on the first page. So he's probably my biggest issue uh, then we also have TJ Hawkinson coming in I guess he's rounding out uh, the top five tight ends uh, at an 89 which is really you know he's he's a great tight end too he's a really well-rounded player not really fast to the point where it's like he's a Madden cheat code or anything like that but definitely a good player now I will go to the next page to point out a couple of guys um, that got surprise ratings Jamar Chase coming off of a monster rookie year is only an 87 what are you going to do? Uh, Kyle Pitts, same thing, coming off of, of a monster year. He's only an 87, but he's still a 91 speed, so it's going to be a cheat code. Those guys had great rookie years, uh, and they got pretty good ratings boost, but I think a lot of people would agree they're probably a little bit higher. Uh, EA doesn't typically boost guys up too high after one season, so that's pretty much why they're like that. So now I'm going to go over the rookie receivers, some of the ones that stood out to me. I'm not going to go over all of them, obviously, but I'm going to go over the first rounders. I'm going to go over the guys that I think are the fastest. Drake London was the first one picked. You can see he's a 75 overall. Uh, it doesn't say really what his height is. I don't know if I can really get that because that's kind of important. But he's like 6'5", 6'6". Uh, should be a big target. Only 88 speed, though. Not necessarily great, but like I said, he's a jump ball guy. Next up, we got Chris Olive. I'm not sure if it's called Olive or, or Olave. I've, I think I've heard it multiple ways, but he's a 76 overall with a 93 speed. He's only about six Six foot, but that 93 speed is probably the most important part. So definitely a great addition to the Saints offense. And then next up we have Jamison Williams. Now this guy here, he's, he looks like he's the highest rated rookie receiver. He's also the fastest. 78 overall with a 98 speed. He's also about six foot two, I think. This guy here is going to be an absolute cheat code. A great addition to the Lions. The Lions offense actually looks pretty good, especially with a guy like this out there. This is going to be one of the most coveted players in the game. Next up we got Garrett Wilson, a 76 overall again. Uh, very close to a lobby in a lot of ways. He's about six Six foot 92 speed though slightly slower which is a little disappointing but ultimately still a pretty good prospect at wide out Next up, we have a Jahan Dotson, another guy coming in at a 92 speed. He's only 75 overall. I think he's a little bit shorter than uh, some of the other guys that I mentioned. I think he's like 5'11", but I'm not really sure. Another good speedy receiver, though. Another young, good speedy receiver. Then next up, we have Traylon Burks, also a first-round pick, 89 speed. I think he's about 6'3", but once again, a little bit slower. Uh, should be a good prospect, though. Next up, I got Christian Watson. He was a second-round pick, 93 speed. I think he's like 6'3", so he's a big receiver. He might be like 6'5". I really don't remember, but ultimately, this is one of the guys I want to check out and he looks like he could be the you know playing the part as a number one receiver pretty soon next up we have tyquan thornton of the patriots he was one of the fastest guys i think he broke the combine record he's still coming in at a 95 though uh he's six foot three with 95 speed so he's essentially a young dk metcalf in franchise mode definitely will see the field for me if i play with this team in regs as well and last but not least i decided to look up danny gray another fast receiver, a 94 speed for the niners uh and that's pretty much where i'm going to end the video i don't really have any uh anything to say about the rookie receivers uh, i guess they're all pretty good i thought tyquan thornton should have been a little bit faster though but still a very good Good young receiving core for you know franchise players if you guys want to see more videos like this throughout the week as they drop hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below